Today we're going to talk about Christmas and the solar religion. As we know, December 25th is celebrated as the birth of Jesus Christ. But why December 25th? I'm sure most of us have asked that question. Well, one thing we know is December 21st or 22nd, depending on the year, is the winter solstice. And the winter solstice is the time of the year where the sun is at its lowest point. Okay, it's the shortest day of the year. We know that most ancient religions, ancient groups, had a holiday or religious ceremony on the winter solstice. The sun is at its lowest point. And it stays there for a few days. And then, on December 25th is the birth of the sun, the new sun. The days begin to get longer, a new year ahead. So, that's on December 25th. So we begin to see that Jesus, the Son of God, is actually the Son, S-U-N, of God. Okay? So when we start to look through this lens, we can understand so many things. For one, Jesus had 12 apostles or disciples. Here we see a picture, Peter, Andrew, James, John, so on. Well. The 12 apostles or disciples of Jesus are the signs, 12 signs of the zodiac. Let's take a look at the picture on the left. We see the sun surrounded by the 12 signs of the zodiac. In ancient times, they thought the sun moved, not the earth, and the sun would travel through or with the signs of the zodiac. In the middle picture, we see Jesus surrounded by the 12 apostles because the sun is known to move with the 12 signs of the zodiac or apostles and here on the right hand side we see kind of an astronomical picture so why is 12 important okay we know there's 12 signs of the zodiac but what else why is 12 important well there's 12 months of the year there's 12 hours of the day that we divide in two they have 24 you know the 12 months are calculated with the moon and the whole year is calculated with those 12 months based on the sun. So 12 is, is huge. So the sun and 12 now make sense. So we start to understand as Jesus as the sun. It starts to become clear. So let's take a look at another huge symbol in Christianity, the cross. Okay. So in these two pictures, one a very ancient picture, the sun is represented with the 12 signs of the zodiac and there's a cross section because as we look on the right we see that the left and right is the fall and spring equinox and the top and bottom are the summer and winter solstices important to break the year up in four seasons and again we're understanding time how many of us look at our watch all day or the clock or time is very very important so the sun is calculating time but also the sun is giving heat it's light crops are growing we have to have the sun throughout the day to nourish ourselves to even have life so the sun is the major solar deity the solar deity is the representation of God so the son of God it's the cross so we begin again to understand Christmas is the celebration around the sun so we'll take it a step further here, Easter. That's the time when Jesus was born again. New life, spiritual life. Well, Easter is the spring equinox. Okay, new life, new growth. But again, what you're really celebrating on Christmas is the sun. Okay, not to take anything away from the historical Jesus. There probably was a Jesus and a great man. But when the Romans, 300 years later, were creating this mythology to create this new religion, they incorporated a lot of their um, practices and rituals and mythology and based it on top of the story of Jesus. So one of the most famous um, sayings, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8:12. It's on Hallmark cards. You see it everywhere. I am the light of the world. 
I am the son of the world. Jesus, the son of God. Merry Christmas.